Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an update to my Project Wax for the month of September. I'm a little late getting to this update, but I figured I would just go ahead and film it for you guys. This is super casual after work. I'm just sitting on the ground here <laughs> showing you my candles. So yeah, let's start with um, some empties and then I'm putting in some really exciting ones for the like Halloween season for October. So get excited. Also, I'm using my dogs in costumes, little tumbler that I got last year from Home Goods. So I thought I would give you guys a little close up because it's just too cute. Starting off with the empties, I only have three, um, but I did finish off Ginger Lime Twist and I pretty much burned through it like solid last month from here to here and it finished off really well. It burned all the way down, it smelled amazing. This is one of my favorites, especially because it was so hot last month. So really love that one. Finished off Pink Petal Tea Cake. This one um, took a few uses, one, two, three, four months, um, but I finished it off. It's not my favorite scent. I know a lot of people love it, but I'm not, the biggest floral fan so yeah happy to finish this one and then my beloved mahogany coconut i finished last month um another one of those ones i just got through really fast one well wait it started here a month and then a month so two months of progress it burns so well it extinguished itself this scent is just one of my favorites and i love it so much so those are the three that i finished since the last update um, I am going to take out one candle and that is cherry cobbler. So I put in cherry cobbler last update and I did actually get some good progress on it. This is cherry cobbler from Goose Creek and I went from unused to down to here. I did get good progress on it, but I, I'm not enjoying it whatsoever in the bedroom or in general. So I'm gonna take it out and this will probably be one of the ones that I try to get through um, in like the early spring slash late winter. Usually from around like January to March, I get through a ton of just like random candles um, that I need to finish off. So that's what I'm gonna save this one for. It's just not my favorite. All right, progress. I do have pumpkin peanut brittle with a ton of progress on it. We started off unused up here and now we're down to here. It's burning so well. I love pumpkin peanut brittle. It smells amazing in the living room. I have it going in here every other day at least. And I'm definitely gonna finish it off in the next week or so. It's just so yummy and it's perfect for this time of year. A little weather update for you guys in Texas. It is now getting a little bit colder. It's not colder, but not 100 anymore. It's like solid 90s now um, and maybe 70s in the morning if we're lucky. So it's getting there, you guys. Okay, blueberry cheesecake. I actually forgot that I put this in the project last month, so it's a good thing that I have this project to keep me accountable. It's Wild Maine, Wild Maine Blueberry, Cheesecake Accord, Blackberry Jam, and Brown Sugar Crust. It smells amazing. I don't know, I, I guess I just forgot that I had this, but I need to remember that I have this because it smells great. Um, this might end up being more of like a November scent because I have some that I'm gonna put in that I'm gonna focus a little more on in October, but I'm still keeping it in in case I like get a hankering for it, but yeah, blueberry cheesecake. I forgot about it. I still did get a little bit of progress though. So, okay, buttery popcorn. I didn't get any progress on it. So, should I just retire this one? I feel like I'm just not gonna use it um, for now. This might be one of those ones that I just save for the time when I just get through all the candles. So yeah, I'm gonna take out buttery popcorn. Executive decision. Okay, we have champagne, apple, and honey. Loving this one. This is like a bedroom scent for me for sure. I. I think I put it in in the last project, did I? It's crisp apple, sparkling champagne, and jasmine honey. I just, I love this guy. I burned it a little bit. Um, I didn't mark it though, but I probably burned it like a tiny bit. It's so good though. I'm gonna put this in the bedroom because I'll show you the one that I had in the bedroom. I wasn't really enjoying. So yeah, I'm gonna put champagne, apple, and honey in the bedroom and see how it does. And the last one I have to update you guys on is Hocus Pocus 2 Halloween Night from Goose Creek. And I just love this packaging, it's so cute. Um, it's basically a candy corn scent. I can't really mark it since it is like a black packaging, but it was unused and now it's down to here. So I think I did a little bit. Um, it's just like a sweet vanilla scent. There's not a lot to it. It kind of smells like marshmallow fireside a little bit. Um, 
but it's nice. I'm enjoying it and this will definitely be like a focus candle for next month. Let's get into the other candles that I've just been burning and like didn't even put in the project. So we have Blueberry Pumpkin Patch, which I just got um, earlier in September. The notes are Farm Fresh Blueberries Ripe Pumpkin Autumn Spice. It's a very spicy blueberry, like super duper spicy. And I was not expecting that. So I put it in the bedroom and used it in there for like a solid week. And then I was like, this is a very odd scent to have in the bedroom. I like to have something like fresh in the bedroom. So yeah, I'm gonna take it out. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it now, but I'm still gonna get try to get through it because I already started burning it. So that's Blueberry Pumpkin Patch. I like it. It's not my favorite scent. I could do without it, sorry. Um, but that's this one. I'm gonna keep burning it though. Maybe my mind will change once we get like a little bit more further down. Another one that I've just like been burning and didn't put in the project is pumpkin cinnamon bun, which you guys have been raving about this one and everybody on Instagram raves about it. I think it's been out for two years now um, in the fall time and I finally picked it up. Let me tell you, let me tell you, it is so good. It's warm cinnamon roll, pumpkin spice and vanilla frosting. It's so good that Kai wants to come over here and sniff it. You wanna sniff Bubba? You sniff? But I've been burning this like in the mornings and it is so, so yummy. It is definitely like a Sunday morning kind of scent. It smells delicious. I'm already almost halfway through it. So yeah, I'm definitely loving it. Um, it's been like the, the scent of the month for September for me. I'm loving it so much. So yeah, I'm gonna keep burning this one in the kitchen. It just, it smells amazing. It smells so, it smells like a Cinnabon. It smells so good. So that's this one, putting it in the project because I know that I'm gonna wanna finish it off. Next one I'm putting in the project is Mahogany Vanilla. I think this one will actually be really great in the bedroom. Um, the scent notes are warm vanilla, bergamot, and sweet sandalwood. I was burning this just a little bit um, in this little, I have like a, shelving unit um in my kitchen i was burning a little pumpkin spice latte candle in and once i finished that i realized like this is the perfect spot for a single wick so i think i'm gonna put it there but i might end up migrating this to the bedroom just because this is a nice like fresh kind of scent for the bedroom so i might do that with mahogany vanilla we'll see but i like it i'm enjoying it so i might as well put it in the project and we are right about here i've burned it a couple times okay next we have white pumpkin which i'm putting in to the project this one is a solid hitter for me every year during the fall the notes are ginger white pumpkin caramel glaze and warm blended spices and i have burned this already i must have got a hankering for fall like in the middle of the year or something and burned it but oh this one is the epitome of fall it's definitely more of like a late fall scent though like a end of october into november scent so this will probably be more of a focus during November, but I will definitely be using it in October because this is one of my favorite fall scents. So that's this one. And the last scent that I'm putting in, which I'm super excited about because this is the October scent. She is the moment, okay? This is Homeworks Hot Cider Donut. Oh my God, you guys, I love this scent. Okay, so this one, I did use up one of these last fall and I loved it. I used it during October and it was like the perfect scent to really encapsulate everything that is Halloween. It's so yummy. So I picked up another one specifically for October. It's Harvest Apple, Cinnamon Sugar, Vanilla Bean, and Spice Cider. It just smells like fall, you guys. I would much rather burn a hot cider donut candle than a like sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I just don't like that scent. I don't know what it is about it, but this one feels like fall to me. It smells so good. You can smell the cinnamon sugar. You can smell the cider donut. It is so good. And it's a heavy hitter too. So I have already burned it a couple times because like I said, in the middle of the year, I just feel like I need some fall scents. So I did burn it a few times, but yeah, we are right here on the candle and I'm so excited. I'm so excited to burn this one. I might have to pick up another one because I feel like this is the perfect like cold weather scent too. So uh, it just smells so, so good. So that's hot cider donut. Very excited to have this one in the project because I'm so excited to burn it. Okay, that is it for my project Use It Up for the month of September. I have nine candles in the project right now, which I usually like to keep it around 10, give or take a few. But yeah, I have nine candles in the project. I finished up three in the last month, so we are looking pretty good. And that's everything. So let me know down below, what are you burning for October? I'm really curious to see what are your guys' kind of favorite October scents? But that's everything for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.